Hi guys, this is my very first video and I know some of you have been waiting a very long time for this to happen. So have I. I've been waiting for perfection and that's just not going to happen. Um, but I'm kind of close to it so um, I'm just going to start and try to really take this seriously because I really want to do this. Um, but I'm doing this uh, purple glittery winged eyeliner um, with a smoky pink and red. Um, with a kind of turquoise lip. Um, so if you want to learn how I did this look, just keep on watching. Okay, I am starting off by priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer using a MAC 195 brush. Now I am buffing over my lids with a cream colored eyeshadow uh, as a base. Now using um, an IT Cosmetic blending brush, I am applying Dolly Pop by Sugar Pill all over the upper crease area. I'm just blending, blending, blending. Making everything look super soft. and I'm just using a clean blending brush to buff it all out and soften the edges or any places I think are too pigmented. Just blending, more blending. Now with a MAC 217 brush, I'm applying this brick red color from the Morphe 35B palette. Just deepening the crease area. Buffing it all out again with the clean blending brush. Now I am adding the color Lost from the Urban Decay Shadow Box palette with a different MAC uh, 217 brush. It's like a metallic coffee color. Very pretty. And I'm just deepening the crease again. buffing it out yet again. Okay, so using Sugar Pills Poison Plum, I was able to scrape some off and make it like a loose powder. And then I mixed Inglot's Duraline with it to make it a liquid to use it as a liner. Need one to two drops, mix it up. And I'm using the IT Cosmetics 217 liner brush. You want to 
want to take your time with it. Um, if you make it too liquidy, it will kind of spread, as you can see on the top of the crease. And you got to keep going over it. Um, but it also dries out pretty quickly back to a dry eyeshadow form. And so you want to make sure that you use it within good time or you'll have to add more. brush to pack on some pigment from the Sugar Pill Poison Plum because as you can see the Duraline makes it dry a little spotty so you want to make it more even and I'm just adjusting the other side. So there you can see it's drying back to regular eyeshadow gets a little clumpy. Just packing on that pigment. And then I'm adding a little bit more of that shade Lost from the Shadow Box palette and kind of cleaning up the crease area. Okay, so with a liner brush, a Morphe liner brush, I mixed um, liquid sugar from Eye Candy Cosmetics with two separate pigments by MAC in shade Violet and Kitchmas. And I am just going over that wing to make it more glittery and shimmy, shimmery. So right now the color I'm using is violet. So this is the pigment Kitchmas, I think that's how you pronounce it, and it is a very, very light, light, light pastel lavender color. colors together so there's no harsh line separating the two. So I'm cleaning the under eye, all the fallout from the eyeshadows with the NYX HD concealer in shade porcelain and just buffing that out with a damp beauty blender. And then with a concealer brush. I am getting as close to that wing as possible to make it very sharp and clean. And then you're going to want to use your finger to spread it out evenly. Your skin is very warm so it slightly melts 
the concealer, making it more spreadable. And I'm just adding a little more and buffing it out. Now I have this zit on my nose, very red, so I'm using the NYX Corrective Concealer um, on my nose. It's like a green minty color. And then I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in NW15 to dot all over my face. I'm using the Artist Oval 8 brush, like the perfect size for the face. And I did prime off camera with the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It is oil free. And then I'm going over with the Damp Beauty Blender to get my nose, which is, you know, very small. The artist brush is a little too big for it. And just make sure I have full coverage, because that's what I like. And I'm just using my Oval 8 brush again to blend down to my neck. And then with the NARS Creamy Concealer in Chantilly, I'm just going in and highlighting. I don't go too crazy. I'm already as white as a sheet of paper. Now with an e.l.f. powder brush, I'm applying the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in shade light. I'm really packing it on under the eyes, the chin, and the crease of the nostrils where it might crack a little bit throughout the day. And then I just buff it out lightly everywhere else. Now I'm using the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer by Tarte and just lightly warming up my skin. I don't like to cream contour. That's, you know, something you do for photo shoots, editorial type stuff, runway, and for every day is just not practical for me. I prefer powders. With the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I use the color Fawn. It's very ashy, so it doesn't make me look like an Oompa Loompa. And I'm just cutting the cheekbones a little bit more because I have a very round face. Got a little more definition. Now with the Becca Cosmetics uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector, I'm using the shade Moonstone and highlighting the high points of my face. And then using my finger to add a little bit to the tip of my nose. And then on my Cupid's bow. You can never highlight too much. At least that's my opinion. And then I'm using the NARS blush and 
the Famous Orgasm shade lightly on the cheeks. I don't like too much blush, but it's, you know, personal preference. Then I'm spraying the Fix Plus by MAC all over my face. I drown myself in it every day. It's amazing. Just letting it dry. Now I'm going back in to finish the eyes. And I'm again using Dolly Pop with the It Cosmetics um, blending brush. Just getting under the eye real well. And then I'm going back in with the 217 MAC brush and that brick red from the Morphe 35B palette and deepening it. buffing it out with a clean blending brush. And I'm getting my waterline with the NYX Jumbo Pencil, um, number 722, ERA, I think I'm pronouncing it wrong, or I don't know. And then I'm taking a little shader brush and it is the highlight color in the Too Faced Chocolate Palette. I don't know the name. The name isn't in the palette. I threw out the box, but I'm using that for my inner corner as well. I'm just using my pinky finger. It fits perfectly and gets the right amount. using the NYX Vivid Bright um, Liquid Eyeliner in shade Vivid Escape. And I'm painting that onto my lower lashes. Going in with the Laura Mercier Black Mascara. I'm just doing the top lashes, nothing too interesting about this. And then falsies. I got these from Sephora. I don't remember what brand it is. I threw out the box. I'm really bad about that. But the band is very thick. So you really kind of have to work with it. I am using the Lime Crying Velveteen in color Peacock and it does not come off until you try to wash it off at the end of the day. I never have been one to use 
lip liners. I'm really bad about that. I don't know what my problem is. But most of the time I can get a pretty clean line with the lipstick. And I am done with the look. I fix my hair up and be ready for the day. Thank you so much guys for watching. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, leave comments below and tell me what you think or suggestions for a new video.